Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's topic, we're going to continue on that kind of preview functionality that we talked a little bit with the text analytics, and we're going to talk a little bit about topic analysis. And so in the previous video, we showed you kind of how to set up the preview functionality, how to configure and set up your text analytics in the Azure Marketplace, and then we showed you how to do kind of the knowledge base functionality. And so if you haven't already watched that particular video, I would at least recommend watching the beginning piece because that shows you how to go through the process of enabling the preview feature and setting up and configuring your text analytics and connecting to your Azure environment and then you can go ahead and start working with some of the other functionality from there. So that's what we're going to go ahead and look at. Before we go in and kind of talk specifically about this, let's just do kind of a quick little refresher. So it, remember it's a preview functionality. So one of the first things that you have to do is if you go into settings and you go into administration, it's under the text and analytics option. So you have to go into system settings, you have to go into your preview feature, enable the text analytics and then once you enable the text analytics then you have to configure it once it's configured you can do all the different things you can do the knowledge based article suggesting you can do the topic analysis you know those types of things but it has to be configured which is what we did in kind of a previous video if you come into here once you'll go in you configure it once it's configured you don't have to mess with it at all as long as you have your information all set up and, and ready to go from that standpoint so then you can start actually moving through the functionality itself and so in the last video we talked a little bit about using it for knowledge search functionality now we're going to talk a little bit about using it more from kind of an automated you know case topic analysis so looking at the topics that are being put into cases and actually kind of automating some of that functionality as we're moving forward. So that's kind of the next piece to this that we'll look at from an application standpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and go into automated or automatic case topic analysis. So this is where you can kind of build your topic configurations and this is where you kind of define how often you want it to go out and look at these topics and build this kind of data model so you can analyze all this information as it's coming in there. So you would then basically go in and create a topic model and that topic model would define, you know, when it's activated, how many times you want to go ahead and build the functionality and, and kind of work with information from there. So here's one that we actually have that's built and then we'll actually show you how to, to kind of build one from an application standpoint. But if you come in here, you've got your model. So this basically tells you, you know, what it is, what's the maximum number of case topics that you're going to analyze during this situation. What is the entity that you're going to be looking at that in? In this particular situation, we're going to be going through and looking at it, particularly we're on the case entity, but this is going to give you the, the ability to kind of you know work through the item that you're going through. This is also going to allow you to determine what configuration that you want to use. So for each topic model that you're creating, there is actually going to be a configuration that defines how often you want to go back and look at that information. If you want to filter any of the information based upon specific types of data to really kind of give yourself that, you know, that, that extra level of, of capabilities to determine what this information looks like. And then it also shows you the, the build execution history. So how long and when it went through last time it did it, if the build worked, it, you know, all of those types of different situations. So it kind of tells you exactly what's happening within those different situations. So it tells you the number of topics, the items that you'd be looking at, um, and then kind of working through information from there. So Let's go ahead and just kind of build one from an application stand. Uh, let's just go ahead and kind of build one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new. <clears throat> we'll call this one tip of the day demo. And again, you know, depending upon the number of topics that I want to use within this situation, um, I'm going to go ahead and just say that the number of topics that I want to use in this case is going to be, uh, we'll just say, you know, 55. What is the source entity that I want to work with? So this is where I can define all the different entities that I want to work with uh, from a topic analysis situation. In this case, we're going to go ahead and hit case. Now, from a configuration standpoint, I can't really do anything yet because I have to save this topic before I can go through and, and build any functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then what this will do at that point, once you save that functionality, is it's then going to give you the capabilities to go in and build kind of your configuration. And so this configuration is what's going to allow you to determine you know how often you want to go through what's the, the filtered criteria that you want to look at so in this case I'm going to go ahead and build my configuration and this is going to define what it is that I'm looking with so I'm going to go ahead and I will just call this tip of the day demo model
And then if I wanted to, I could define a specific filter that I wanted to use on how I wanted to filter this information down. I haven't defined any filters at this point, so we're not going to use any at this point, but I could go ahead and build those. Then I have to define kind of my timeline window for how I want to use this functionality. Do I want to go back X number of days, X number of weeks? Uh, this is where I can define what that functionality looks like. In this case, we'll just say we're going to go back X number of days. And in this case, I can define what that looks like. I'll just go ahead and say maybe 14 or 15 days and then work through there. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save. And then once I save that, then it's going to go out and it's going to build my determination fields. And so this is going to be very similar to what we would have seen when in the last video when we talked a little bit about knowledge article analysis and, and those kind of things from, from knowledge base suggestions. So this is what's going to go out and define kind of the entity and, and the data that it's going to use for that topic analysis. So in this case, it's going to use the case title, it's going to use the description, it's going to use the note description, it's going to use kind of the activity subject. These are kind of pre-populated. It defines all of that information for you. However, if you wanted to, you could add additional functionality into this based upon the items that you wanted to use from an analysis standpoint. So if there was other fields that you wanted to use to kind of build that determination, you would be able to do that in here without too much difficulty from, from an aspect of, of working with it. Once you have kind of that topic model defined within this situation, then you can go ahead and just close out of the topic model. Now you're ready to go ahead and define how often you want this to build this functionality. So the, the build execution information that you want to go through. So this is where you can define how you want this to work with. So this is where I can schedule the build. Can say how often do I want this to be built this topic model in order for this to work. This will not actually do it until I activate it within the system. So even though I'm building this at this point, I still would have to activate it in order for it to work. In this case, I can go ahead and say I want it to build weekly. I want it to occur you know, every week on Monday at whatever time it is that, that I want to work with at this point. And then I can go ahead and click on OK. And that's going to build the model and, and get it ready to start at that point once I activate it. So now I can go ahead and I can activate this model. And then once I activate this model, then it will go ahead and kind of start, you know, Bring it, bringing this functionality into the, into the item. So once it's gone in and been activated, then I can go ahead and I can build that from an application standpoint. Now I already have one that's been activated for just a few minutes, uh, for a little bit here. So let's go ahead and show you kind of that. So this is one that's been activated. Once it's been activated, I have the ability, if I ever want to queue that information off right away, I could go ahead and hit build. And this would then build that model automatically and start building that functionality so I can then go in there and, and look at it if I wanted to kind of force that issue. Once it's been done, now you can go in and you can start looking at, you know, recent case topics and things that have been brought in from the application and you can start using that from an analytics standpoint. And so now if you were to go into, you know, service and cases, now you'll see over here on your charts area that there's going to be kind of an analytics area. And if I go into case topics, this is where once that visualization has had time to look at the topics and the items that have come in and, and things, this is where it's going to start to show that visualization. And this is where it's going to start to show you, you know, case topics that have keywords. So, you know, things like, you know, it requires service or a product or an item that you're looking at and all that information would start to display. And the more often it's been reported, the bigger the text would be. So if you've ever seen kind of what that widget looks like inside social engagement, that's very similar to what you would see here. But this is a great way from a machine learning perspective that you can use this to really start to analyze some of these, these key aspects of what it is that you're doing. So that's how you can go ahead and configure the text analytics piece for topic analysis. So you can use that to kind of determine what types of things are being reported and just, you know, have a better insight into what's happening. So you know, again, this and, and some of the other things that we've talked about with the, you know, with the, 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 the article suggestions and some of those things, remember, they're preview features. So again, they're definitely stuff that you just want to play with and understand what's out there because in upcoming versions, they're definitely going to make it into release, you know, probably from, from an application. But you do at least want to have the opportunity to kind of play and look through them. So again, that's going to do it for, for today. So for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this is Derek saying thanks again, everybody, for watching. Take care and have a good one.